Ask Reddit by Elegant Paper 1379. How would a billionaire destroy the life of a random person? Sue them. If a petty billionaire really wanted to they could hire people to keep you tied up in civil court for years and have a legal team so good that your chances of winning are extremely slim. You don't have the money for that, but it's nothing to them. And that's just a legal example. Sex traffic them to an island in the Caribbean to be prostituted to a bunch of political elite. Kill them when they are whistleblowing about unsafe and corrupt practices against your airplane and defense contracting business. You're all thinking too hard. All a person with money has to do to ruin you is sue you and force you to spend money in defense of yourself. Chances are you don't have the resources to keep up with their filings, their discovery requests, their court dates, and you'll just settle to be over the headache of it all. You'll have to quit before they drain you, because even if you win and they have to pay your legal fees that only happens after everything is decided, you'll already have spent all of your savings and remote gets your mom's house to pay legal bills in the meantime. That entire thing is terrifying to read. Order a hit on them the day before they blow the whistle on your criminal actions as board member of a large aviation company. Sorry, that wasn't random. Deciding to outsource the manufacturing of critical airline components to inflate your stock price for the small cost of 346 passenger lives. I just saw an interview yesterday where one of that guy's friends said that he literally told them a few months ago if I die it wasn't suicide. The fact that it's being reported as suicide really ticks me off. Buy their company and fire them. Then pay a landscaper to dump 500 pounds of manure through their bedroom window. Manure. I hate manure. Any countless number of ways. Some low hanging fruit ideas. Buy the business they work for and fire them. But all of the surrounding houses where they live and turn the neighborhood into an undesirable area to live in so they can't sell their house. Pay people to assault them. Pay people to pubically accuse them of various crimes. Pay people to manufacture evidence against them in crimes. There are so many ways. A lot of these sound like recent political events. Basically by buying out all the resources they hope to own. Housing for example. They could also destroy the existing value of owned assets. Like making a house practically worthless by buying up surrounding properties and then building a spite fence or turning them into short term rentals or crack dens, or rezoning to industry and building a cement plant or something. Pay everyone in their life to slowly turn against them. Everyone. Even the guy at the checkout stand. Just riffing here. This is basically the plot of Trading Places. Great movie if you haven't seen yet seen it. Nice try Zuckerberg, I'm not giving you any more ideas. Blacklist blackball them. Sue them. Disinformation campaign. Hire a hitman. They can just keep doing what they're doing. It's already happening. Exactly, the existence of billionaires is already ruining the life of millions and millions. If a billionaire wanted to ruin my life, they would just have to give me a million dollars, and I would be in shambles. So if I've pissed off any billionaires, now you know the secret to just absolutely wrecking my life. Here's 10 million just to make sure you suffer. Buy their data. Delete it. All of it. Damn. Give them a million. And then tell everyone that they know. Own a company that makes billions and treat my workers like slaves. Make them pee in Gatorade bottles and fire them if they take unauthorized bathroom breaks. Raise the price of generic medicine. Raise the price of insulin and EP pens. Take them out one by one. They all already do every single day. 
To be a billionaire their life is funded by the exploitation and impoverishment of others. They could just keep doing what they're doing and let late stage capitalism take care of the rest. It's already happening. Yeah but the question was a random person not all people everywhere. Do what Trump has done a million times. Hire on a small time contractor to do a relatively big job for them. When the job is finished, say that you are unsatisfied with the quality of the work, and refuse to pay. Then have your lawyers fight their efforts to collect, until the small time contractor has to file for bankruptcy because they can't afford the 200k, 300k, etc loss. Damn, didn't one dude killed himself after he won and paid off his workers? Sue them. You can't outlaw your real money. Pay a woman to love him better than they've ever imagined then dismantle his life and break him slowly over many years. Once his life is in shambles, introduce a new better girl that he cheats with. She disappears after the first girl finds out, blackmails him, and emotionally tortures him. Once he's broken financially and emotionally, dose him with the chemical castration drug that ruins your hormone balance and makes you want to self-death. Make sure someone is there to tell him who done it in his final moments. A lot of room for nuance in this gamma plan. Not hard to hire a small team to brainstorm and a few sabotages to make sure their work fires the more family slowly distances themselves from them. Are you okay bro? Legally change the person's name to X and watch their credibility crumble. Changing their name to Null would be worse. They could hire a lawyer to make their life miserable. Lawyers can do all kinds of horrible things and typically the reason why they don't is because it doesn't make money, and it's also mean and being mean doesn't tend to be profitable. Lawyers typically hate vendettas, because they are unprofitable. But there is definitely a class of lawyer who will do whatever the rich person tells them to do. And in that circumstance, they can file complaints against every government agency you touch. Sue you, get your bank accounts closed do all kinds of nasty things. Well easy. I used to know a rich guy that was a bit shy of a billionaire and had a grudge. It goes like this. Dude gets a job as a car stereo installer. Send a guy down there to talk to the owner and say I want a 30k system in this BMW, but you gotta fire that asshole if I'm gonna buy it. Dude gets a job at a good local restaurant. Rich guy buys the restaurant and had the new manager fire him. So on and so forth. I believe the term is fuck you money. Just them being a billionaire has destroyed many people lives they hoard all the wealth so people at the bottom suffer.